Hello everybody, uh, my name is Alex Kroski and I am a local Houston artist. Uh, I used to be a Las Vegas artist but we recently moved so I become Houston artist now. And um, I just wanted to, to tell you some story about my art and uh, about Michael Jackson in my art. Actually what happened, I, I just recently achieved my dream and um, my dream was that my Michael Jackson art collection would belong to Michael Jackson family. And for several years I was trying to reach the family and um, show them my art. Basically, I wanted them to see it and I wanted them to have my paintings at their home. It's maybe strange, but um, that's what I wanted. And uh, when I created Michael Jackson paintings, um, I never really painted them to sell. Uh, because all this collection uh, was in my house for many years and I just uh, did some exhibitions and I showed it to people. But I knew that one day they will be at uh, Michael Jackson family. I didn't know exactly where. Because I, at first I thought uh, that they probably, I, want, I wanted to give them to, uh, to their mom because I think that mom is, um, I don't know, it's just, it's just mother, you know, like I, I have mother and uh, this is probably the most precious thing in my life. And uh, I hope that uh, I will give it to her, but um, uh, the... You know, what happened is that my friends, they helped me to reach the family, but they reached Jermaine Jackson, and it's the brother of Michael Jackson, and um, he saw my art, and he loved it. He, uh, we talked on the phone, and uh, basically at the end, he wanted to have my art at his house, at his home. So, I managed uh, to bring my paintings to his house and um, now I think that this is the place where the paintings belong to. I've been painting Michael for a while, for several years like I said. And he is probably the biggest portion of my art, the, the biggest part of my life. And it's not only his image, it's, you know, emotionally and in my heart. I, uh, I see him as my inspiration in a way. Because my art started from Michael Jackson, believe it or not. Um, five or six years ago, I didn't know how to hold the brush in my hand. And um, the first time I took the brush was when I was laid off from my job. I've been working as a security guard and uh, um, government. And, uh, I, you know, one day after five years working for them, I just lost my job. And uh, my wife, uh, she prompted me to go to take some classes. And I, I went to classes. And um, Jen Bennett, uh, she was my first teacher. She gave me a couple classes and I started painting. And uh, what was strange to me that this just came out naturally. I started paint from morning till evening, and uh, it was it was very strange that it's almost like I painted all my life before, or maybe I was an artist in some other life. I don't know. But the best what I was good at were portraits. And uh, first, I think, uh, my painting, first painting that I, I, I did was some woman. She was kind of, you know, was her profile. It was not that good. But then my teacher, she told me, you need to, uh, to paint something that inspires you, that, you know, makes, you, make, makes your heart beat faster, you know, that makes you feel, you know, passion. Or what is it in your heart? And I decided to draw Michael right away. Uh, because Michael, it's interesting that um, I 
when I the first time like I say I, I um, met Michael songs that I, I really I love them I fall in love with his you know image his songs was uh, when I was in military and uh, every day in our platoon we had his songs every day for two years I've been listening to you know for some you know many soldiers has his tapes and, and for some reason that his songs were the most you know the, the best songs ever you know it was 80s 88 90 so uh, it was a lot of pop music but his songs were all over our barracks you know they were playing everywhere and I never got tired of listening you know and uh, like I said before uh, they helped me to go through very cold winters because I was serving at Far East it's, it was very cold there it's unbelievably cold places and it was minus 40 Celsius there sometimes and uh, like I say sometimes you cannot open the eyes in the morning when you go out because your eyelashes are frozen right away when you open the door that's how cold it was but then his songs you know we were dancing there believe it or not you know wearing uniform so uh, after when I came home from military, I I just got all concerts of Michael. And, and you know the funny thing, I couldn't speak English back then, so I didn't really understand what is he, you know, what, what he was singing. I, I just I like his music. I like the songs. I like the way he moved. I mean, I, I was thinking this guy has so much charisma, and I just loved him. I mean, I I love the way he he did what he was the best. So, and um, I saw him, he, he was very motivated. He had this uh, biggest uh, strength that I have ever seen. And he was not a strong guy. I mean, he was not a bodybuilder or, you know, he was not the, he didn't have the strength that everybody admires, the physical strength, right? But the strength was kind of inside of him. And that's what really inspired me. I mean, I always was thinking, this guy is so skinny, so, I mean, it's like the wind can blow him away. But he's so strong in every move, in every word he say. So, and it was one of the reasons why I decided to come to the United States, by the way. Because in my mind, the country where such person can live and sing, um, I wanted to be here. I, I could see that uh, there is a lot of potential here in the United States that um, people who have talent, and he was extremely talented, they can reach the mountains, you know, the, the high, highest points of their life. And I could see it in him. And I came to the United States and uh, five, six years ago, I just found my niche. I, I found something that I was good at. And I decided to do the same thing that Michael did, but just kind of different path. You know, it's, a, it's again, it's all about the creativity. He had it in making songs, and singing songs, and dancing, and moves. Uh, and I decided my, uh, my own, my, my own creative path. My, my path with the brush strokes, with the brush. And uh, I start working you know, start in the morning, in the morning, and I finish in the evening when my wife comes home. And I mean, honestly, it's just the best thing I have ever started to do in my life. And uh, Michael, like like I said before, he is the biggest, biggest part in my life. Even I, when I listen to his songs, some of them I cannot even translate. Still, you know, I. I just, I'm just listening, and, and I swallow it, I, it's just going deep in me, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm sure, you know, many people will understand, because he doesn't have any barriers, he doesn't have, uh, people who listen to him, they don't have language barrier, they don't have any problems with not understanding Michael, because Michael was, um, I think he was a, like, kind of, some kind of miracle that, um, was born in our century and is gone. I mean, it's almost like a flesh, fl flesh, boom, gone. But everybody who saw him, he saw it. It's like a 
meteor, you know, it's like a star, which everybody saw, and, and, and it's just gone. But nobody will forget. Nobody will forget how big was the bright light of it, you know. I'm sure he will go through centuries. I don't know about other singers. I honestly don't. I mean, probably a few. But Michael, I think he will never be forgotten. Never. I think he will be in 10 generations, 100 generations. I'm sure you know there will be a lot of um, people who will try to do something like him, but nobody will be Michael. That's what I can guarantee. I mean, there is no way somebody can be born like Leonardo da Vinci, for example. You know, Salvador Dali. Uh, there is only one. There is only one. And Michael was the one, in my opinion. You know? And like I, say, like I said in the beginning, um, I just received a book from Jermaine Jackson. It's the book written by him. You know? And it's You're Not Alone. A book where he wrote the letter to me. You know, and he mentioned that one day we will meet, which I hope we will. I also, you know, I try to make image of Michael uh, the most, um, how to say, the most sparkling, the most flashy image of Michael in my art. And um, I'm trying to do it better than photographers. You know, photography is uh, a little bit dead to me. Every picture I, I, I see, photography, even its uh, color, uh, some of them are black and white, but it doesn't matter. I think they, they lose the um, light in them, they lose life. They, they lost life. I don't know if I put it the right way. But um, I think when you do it in oil, you kind of make in him a life. You, you, you bring in him to life. And that's what I'm trying to do. And some people who saw my Michael, my Michael's art, they told me that Alex, you know, impressively, but your paintings have life in them. That They made him alive somehow. It's almost like you are looking to the person who is alive. It's sad to say that he's not, but um, I, I'm trying as much as I can to make his image alive, make him live again, you know, in my art. And um, I also, I created a lot of t-shirts. I, I, I'm creating a lot of designs with Michael Jackson. Uh, and um, I keep creating them. I have about probably hundreds of designs, you know. And I also, I gave several t-shirts to Jermaine and um, he loved them too. I mean, th th because I think they are very unique. They're, I don't know, they, they, they just, you can see Michael in, in every angle, in every little picture on it, you know, and that's what I like. And uh, I hope in future, uh, you know, my t-shirts with Michael will be all over the world. And, you know, I, I will put the Michael, I will put his image on every cloth I see. You know, that people will just, it, it will be almost like Michael's world, you know, all over. I don't know, it's just a dream. So, um, for now, it's just a dream. And um, I keep creating other different paintings. Um, I don't know if I will paint... Michael again. I probably will. Uh, not now, uh, not now, but I will. Because that's the only thing that I really miss in my art now. I mean, I miss painting him. Because every time I paint him, like I say, it's different. I have different feeling. Uh, I can paint Avatar, I can paint, you know, United We Stand, I can paint the God Bless America paintings, I can paint in Merlin Monroe, but it's different, it's very different. First of all, for some reason, Michael was always very easy to paint, to me, very easy. And every painting I did, I never did it bad. I never had mistakes. I never, uh, what is it? No, actually, I did once, once, one time I did. I did mistake, I didn't like the image I made and I erased it, I completely painted all over it and I put another image of Michael on the top of it. But uh, in general, I think uh, the best art I have ever done in my entire art career, I would say, 
was uh, portraits of Michael Jackson. And uh, thanks to him, I think, um, and so sometimes, you know, I, I think even that uh, somehow he brought it to me, into my hand. I don't know, maybe, you know, you don't understand what I'm talking about. But uh, sometimes I feel that he is the part of my hand. And when I start drawing him, I feel so, uh, so alive, you know, so passionate about what I'm drawing. You know, for example, I, I've been drawing Marilyn Monroe, right, lately. I don't feel it. It's, uh, and it's not because it's black and white. It's because, um, I don't know, her, her image is more, maybe dead to me. I, I don't know, but Michael is always, when I start painting him, uh, he's never gone. He's here, you know, he's here with me. That's, I mean, it's weird, but that's how I feel. Sometimes I even talk to him, you know, on my portraits. It's, uh, I don't know. But anyway, uh, like I said, uh, I will paint him again in a while, you know. And um, I hope everybody will see my art later, my art of Michael, and everybody will see the art that is already done. Because I post it everywhere, you know, then people can see my art of Michael. And I hope uh, the family of Michael will like it. Because I think they will be the best judges of um, his likeness. I mean, he's, um, they grew up with him. I, I think um, uh, they, they, they can see if I did the wrong brush stroke, so I didn't. And, uh, you know, I, I hope they will like it. I hope they will, uh, you know, they will love it. And they will see him alive through my art. That's what I hope. I, I don't know. But anyway, um, it was a very nice talking to, to all of you. And I hope you will, um, like I say, I hope you will like my art. You know, I, I, I always hope so. I know there will be a lot of criticism and uh, I, I receive a lot of uh, bad negative response, believe it or not, I mean, I receive a lot of bad things about my art, um, which, I don't know, people probably don't like sometimes what I draw. And many people don't like that I even been drawing Michael. I, I don't know why. There are many enemies there. But, like I said, Michael is, was, and, and will be the most impressive character in the whole universe I have ever met even on the pictures only and on TV still there will not be another Michael and um, like I said um, I would say I'm a fan of Michael but the most important I'm an artist and um, I will try my best later to keep going and keep painting. Thank you very much.